Hi guys. I am Rudnakar. Here, showing to make image cutout, create spot color channel, and fill with Pantone color gradient in Photoshop. Then placing and clipping the image in mask, trapping color objects in Adobe Illustrator, which use in offset, flechography, and gravure pre-press. Open your CMYK image. Select pen tool and start drawing path segment. One or two pixel inside the image around, to cut out the object. When it is done, click on Paths Palette and double click on Work Path, rename it. Click Channels Palette and choose New Spot Channel. Color Swatch will open, click on it, and select your color by name and number from color libraries. This spot channel will appear with color name at the bottom of CMYK channels. Select Make Selection option in pull-down menu. Keep anti-alias 0.2 pixel, it makes smooth edges. And select Layer Palette and hit on Add a Mask icon which is at bottom. Then select Spot Channel. Click Gradient Tool and click on Radial Gradient option. Then select Path Panel and click Make Selection. Go to Select Menu and select Modify. And click Contract by 2 pixels. Click on Spot Channel and hit Delete or go to Edit, Fill Foreground Color. This will remove Gradient Fill from CMYK area. Save as PSD. Go to Adobe Illustrator open your Vector Layout document. Click File Menu and select Place option. Target your image and click Open. Here I used a circle as a mask. So, place it over the circle in proper position and send it back by selecting Object Menu, Arrange, and Option Send to Back. Now select both, and again go to Object Menu select Clipping Mask. Make. The mask object should be on the top of the image. Then select yellow bullets. Then go to window menu and select attribute option. In that box check on the overprint stroke. Click yellow stroke by 0.25 millimeters. The same way, apply stroke to cyan bullets. These strokes expand the color and overlaps on black slightly, it helps to compensate for misregistration. In units on offset, flexo, and gravure press.
Now make the black text overprint. By selecting overprint fill in attribute menu. Thanks for watching.